Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. And I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. And what I'm talking about is one of my actually pretty recent videos of why I'm still setting. And in that video, I'm talking about like obviously why I'm still setting, why I'm still appointment setting. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna explain to you guys today why that's wrong and my new updated outlook on it. So if you haven't watched that already, I'll link it up here. Go watch that so you have some context. And even then you still have some learning lessons from there. So my, what I said in that video is that I was still setting mainly because I don't like how people, for example, doing SMA or selling these courses or mentorships, teaching other people how to do the thing are still like, they don't even have agents and agency themselves or aren't closing the deals themselves. And there is truth to that. But what I said was for my situation, I'm still setting. My reasoning for that was and my, my logic, my logical feedback loop and my thought process was, oh, because that's the case, I still need to be setting. Even if I'm selling mentorship now, I've opened slots for it, or I'm selling an e-guide helping people get started in appointment setting, right? So I felt the need, I needed to still do the setting myself and become an appointment setter. Even though this is something I've been doing for the past two and a half years. And uh, yeah, what I feel like right now is, I read this book, I haven't read through all of it, but it's called The E-Myth. And it talks about how there's three levels of entrepreneurship, there's three levels being the first one being the uh, the technician, where essentially you're doing everything yourself. Let's say you run a bakery business, you're doing the baking yourself, you're doing the deliveries yourself, you're doing the accountancy yourself, you're doing the customer service yourself, everything is done by you. That's where most people start out. But this problem is, if you're trying to grow a business, most people stay stuck there. And what they should be doing instead is they need to move to the second pillar of business or a second type of person in business being the manager and then the third one being the entrepreneur so the manager is as you can probably tell has moved up a level and they're now delegating certain parts of the business so for example with the bakery business instead of doing the baking themselves they hire out bakers to to, to bake for them right and then they just focus on working on the business as opposed to in the business that's where the quote comes from you probably have heard it and then the last level which i'm fully gone through is the entrepreneur where you're running like bakery businesses, franchises all over the country and whatnot, okay? So most people stay stuck at the first level, excuse me, and that's why they're stuck. It's because they are con they're a control freak and they wanna do everything themselves. And they feel like letting go and delegating certain tasks is gonna ruin them, when in reality, it's what they need to grow and scale. So what I said in my last video about why I'm still setting is like, I felt, oh, because I'm not doing the thing themselves that automatically makes a fraud. Well, that's not the case. What I can do instead and what my plans are, so here's a sneak peek behind what my plans are. Uh, on the current position I'm in, I'm making plans to move up a role, moving from that technician role, doing the appointment setting myself. Uh, and don't get me wrong, like there's nothing wrong with it, especially if you're starting out, you gotta start somewhere. But I told this to my friend and actually one of my students actually a couple of days ago that I feel like, I, I feel like I've overstayed my welcome and now it's time to move up. Now it's time to actually become a setter manager or something along the lines of that, where instead of me actually doing the setting, doing the thing myself, being a technician, I'll manage other people. I'll manage other setters. I'll hold them accountable. Um, I'll train them with my resources and my learnings, keep them on the straight path and doing what a setter manager does, okay? And that is just um, a way more high leverage task as opposed to me, me doing the setting myself. Um, so that's what I said in my last video. I hope it makes sense. If you're still starting out, and one of my students also asked me last week, it's like, when do you feel like you should move up from doing the thing yourself, being a technician, to let's say like a managerial type role, like a setter manager, closer manager, uh, et cetera, or, or whatnot, or moving up to a closer? And I said, it depends. It's always the, it's the question, it's the answer I hate giving, but it really is the truth, just because there's a lot of things that come to it. And if I just give a blanket answer, you know, it's, it's not always the right answer. I, can, I can't always just say yes, it's now's the time or no, it's not the time. I'd have to really know your situation. But a couple of things is like, um, it's time in the game, for example, and results you've, mainly it's the results that you've generated. So if you're just fresh into the game and you've just started out being a setter, you can't just give up a couple months in the, in the business and just say, no, it's not for me or okay, now it's time to be a closer or insert answer, insert statement. If you haven't produced 
good tangible results. If you haven't generated a certain amount of revenue for the business you work for, for the businesses that you've worked for, if you haven't, if you're not confident at the skill itself yet, if you can't confidently book meetings yourself consistently day in and day out, then you're not ready to move up. Why? Because you have to earn your stripes. So, but on the flip side, if you have, let's say, and let's say you're a closer as well, because it applies. If you can close deals confidently, you've done it for businesses before, and it's just like something that you've you've come close to mastering or you're good at now. Okay, cool. Now look look into teaching others how to do it or managing others to do the same thing. All right, that's when it's time to move up. But you, you can't just not earn your stripes and expect to move up. You know, and the opportunities will be limited too. Because if you go in and tell people what your results are and it's not good enough, then it's not going to work out, is it? So, yeah, those are my thoughts, and you can see my thoughts on my last video and essentially why I'm wrong. So moving forward, we're gonna be doing some sort, some more of like setter management roles in the coming days. I'm gonna have some, quite a handful. So a couple setters under me, I'm gonna start training them. Should be pretty exciting. And I'll, as always on YouTube, I'm gonna record what I learned and learnings onto here. So hope you enjoyed the content that's gonna come. And those are some of my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Share it in the comments below. And in the next video or future video, I'm going to make an extended video on how to, how to know when it's time to, to move up from a setter to a closer, from a closer to running a business, to whatnot. Whether, you've, you've, whether you've, you've overstayed your welcome or not. So keep an eye out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.